Bob probably just doesn't like me because I used to be a piece of shit. He likes you. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I, I know I used to be a piece of shit. I don't give a rat's ass. I'm going to go see if he's hungry. Maybe that's a problem. That's not the problem. It's that I used to be a fucking piece of shit. The Super Bowls podcast is meant for an adult audience only. It may contain sexually oriented content. Content may not be suitable for sensitive listeners. Please be aware of your surroundings. Listener discretion is advised. (laughs) Oh, I miss those nights. I was a piece of shit, though. Used to be. I said was! What is up, everyone? Frank, is- Gina, Doug, Joan. Hey, fun, yeah. fact, fun fact to that uh, juicy, that thing is juicy. Uh, when I, if I was ever a stripper, that was going to be my stripper name, Juicy Gina. So. Juicy Gina. I put a poll up in the Discord. The poll so question. You can dance on it? No, 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 not that kind of poll, like a voting poll. The question wasn't a question, it was a statement, which was great googly moogly, and the only thing you could vote was, that thing is juicy. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that earlier. Did you put that on the Discord? I was confused. Oh, Super Bowl's chat. You can only say, that thing is juicy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Great googly moogly. Well, because so, I, I was laughing earlier, but go ahead. No, that's pretty funny, dude. I, I, th- I saw it, and but I was, trying to, I was trying to catch up on all the other other uh chat chatter that was going on in the discord um guys i just want to say uh hello thank you for being here uh my awesome co-host i got uh i got our newest host gina she's here hello she made hello. it she came hello. back uh, uh, you guys surprising. Scare me. i told you guys <laughs> you weren't gonna scare me joan is here welcome joan Hi, thank happy, you. Happy International Women's Month, ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Frank does not recognize this month, so I'm going to just go ahead and let you guys know that Doug and I are here. If you want to talk about anything, uh, in, anything in particular that we can help out with, we're, we're glad to help. We're here for you. Um, you know, we just, we, 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 we fucks with the women, you know? Thank you. You've made that a little too abundantly clear, I'm just going to say. If you're tuning in tonight, thank you so much. Uh, If you have any questions or you want to join in the chat, uh, please feel free to do that. Right now we're streaming live on Twitch. We are on, I believe, YouTube. We are on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, We refuse to call it X. Um, It's always going to be Twitter from here on out and forever. Uh, so yeah, we're here. Thank you for for stopping by. And if you want to chat with us, let us know. If you want to catch us after this episode is uh, over, you can catch us on just about any streaming platform. Like uh, I think Audiobooks is one of them. Audiobooks. Uh, <laughs> Audible. Audible. Yeah. yeah. Audiobooks. <laughs> Audible. Oh, you know, you said, you, know, you said audiobooks like they have at the library. <laughs> well, they're there too. You can catch yeah, us we're, there. We're there too. We we do a print run, a small print run of uh cassette tapes that we we send out to all the uh different libraries. Trying to get our show but, released. Uh, but Frank, where else can they where else can people catch us after the show? Uh, hopefully soon in Braille, uh and then smoke signals also. But as of right now, after the fact, you can tune in on iTunes, Spotify, you got your Google Podcasts, App Podcasts. Uh, fucking audio, you said audible already, but uh, po- pocket casts, and there's another one that we actually just 
we just got onto that we automatically got joined into. I'll try to look up what that is, but it's it's basically everywhere. Everywhere that gotcha. you'd find a podcast, we're there. And if it wasn't for Joan, we would be on Pornhub and uh Actually, Bait and uh OnlyFans. No, I'll yeah, no, I'll take that. It is my fault that we're specifically not on Pornhub. <laughs> We yeah. uh we were also gonna go on Rumble because Doug wanted us on Rumble, but uh, that also Rumble? Had, I don't know, Doug. Do you want to explain what Rumble is? Because I don't, I don't think I know. Um, it is a um, it's another streaming platform that you know you can watch Slap Fight. Yeah, that's on there. Uh, there are some very conservative outlooks on there. You could also catch me on Newsmax. I'm on that a lot too. Oh, are you? Mm. Yeah. Mm. That- a, uh, a secret so we hired doug as our audio engineer here on super balls uh what you may not have known is that he was the audio engineer on infowars prior to yep. the position here we stole him from infowars yep yep after after all those lawsuits a new place to work so. <laughs> alex jones calling me a son of a bitch is never not gonna be funny i'm sorry i don't did know you, what it is did you play the son of a bitch i didn't even hear it did doug called me a son of a bitch son of a bitch i don't know what it is there's there's just some sounds out there there's just some things that are always going to be funny to certain people i don't know why it's that one <laughs> i don't even know what that was no <laughs> yeah. joan what's the shittiest thing you've ever done to somebody else uh I didn't know we were talking about what we've done. Can you circle back to me? <laughs> I uh, thought we were talking about other people. No, 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 ma'am. I want to know what you've done. Uh, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever uh, beat anybody up? No, I'm a wimp. Uh, actually, <laughs> ever shit in a bag and throw it at, at I, somebody? My no. story about violence if you want to hear what i did that was shit. yeah we- so my thing it was what i came prepared with because i thought about this it's coincidental that it's a fight but it is a fight was it a when woman I- no no it was not uh when i was 16 my first job was at best buy in bloomingdale i don't know if gina knows where bloomingdale's at bloomingdale on army trail that was my first job that particular best buy and it was cool at the time because Best Buy used to be a cool store and uh, the only thing or one of the things I didn't like about it was hey I didn't drive so I didn't have a a way to get home so I always have to wait for a ride from my mommy or my girlfriend or uh, B you know after work you don't want to hang out at the Best Buy so like I would go over and there's actually a Walmart in the same plaza Gina can confirm this if she knows that plaza. (laughs) there's a Walmart further down and there's stores in between and when you go to Walmart you're walking through Walmart just waiting for your ride and people are like, hey, can I get some fucking help with X, Y, Z? And I'm like, yeah, I don't work here. Um, so I actually, years ago when I worked there in 2004, uh, there was a Frank's Nursery and Craft store. If you guys, I don't know if you guys have that in other parts of the country. Doug, do you have, do you ever see a Frank's Nursery and Craft? No. Okay, well, it's just a, a fucking nursery craft store. But uh, I was there waiting for my ride and like these two teenagers came in. I think they were older than me. There's a pair of them. And I was waiting for my ride. Hey, thanks, Lord Cronus, you fuck. <laughs> but no, honestly, so like I, I used to get Insert into a lot cash or select payment type. Use pin pad to complete transaction. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Oh, okay. That was uh, quick. That was really quick. <laughs> two guys are coming in and they they were <laughs> Thing where it's like they i don't know came from somewhere where they were underage drinking and they were just fucking harassing everybody i remember telling them to shut the fuck up because they were just being loud in the store i'm like guys take it down i'm like who the fuck are you and so this fucking guy stepped up to me and he's wearing a wife beater and i was a very different person and i know like i'm nice and stuff and i don't fight anymore this fucking guy stepped up to me in a wife beater he's probably like two years older and i knew shit was gonna go down you know what i did I fucking tore out his nipple ring and then started fighting him at the Frank's nursery and glass. He's fucking the fucking blood is just squirting out everywhere with every beat of his heart. And he's like, oh, my God, <laughs> like his friend just started running. <laughs> and, and then after uh, after I did that and, and like I punched him a couple of times on one of those pallets of dirt, 
I also took off running and then I never went back to that store. But that is something that I did that was really shitty. It was really dirty fighting. That's, no, that's, no, no. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's almost as bad as you uh, prank call in a woman shelter. But yeah, that's pretty bad. That wasn't a prank call. <laughs> it was a reveal call. <laughs> oh, no. he, he, he was yeah, trying, he was trying to just... figure out which one wanted to go on a date. I will say I thought he, just he was trying to entice just, him just with said, drugs. He just called him just to say what's wrong with you people. Hmm. That's what he did. Gina, Gina, do you have any shitty stories? Anything that you've done that's super shitty? Um, I've I wanted to start crazy. with Joan and, and Gina, but of course Frank had to go first. So Yeah, he just had to interrupt there and just like, let me tell you guys my shitty story. Like, no, shitty person, you, Frank, okay? like, Don't cut her off. Don't cut her <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> so I have I mean I've bleached my ex's clothes before oh. I've yeah I've like messed up like really bad Jordans like nice Jordans and what did you do how do you so mess them up did you crease them no I didn't crease them I like cut through them with like scissors Ooh. that's a deep crease I would say yeah. it's like a full yeah. crease yeah yeah um I've done so, so you're so are you like the crazy ex girlfriend or like I'm, the yeah, girlfriend, I'm the like, normal no, girlfriend like that the... turned crazy because your boyfriend turns you crazy? Uh, I'm just gonna say that you know if you do something to me, I'm gonna do something to you. So that was an action that I took of you know they cheated and I was just like okay, well here's what I'm gonna. Do I think that's a fair trade. I don't think that's a shitty thing. I think you just. I think that was justified. It's justified. I think it was just okay. yeah 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 somebody cheated it's on you and you know you, you do that i mean them. i could have cheated back but i have more you know i'm like no i'm not gonna cheat back <laughs> no i think destroying the stuff is a justified action well the other thing too though gina is if they cheat on you that's the end of the relationship you go out and do whatever it's not cheating anymore because you're no longer together am i right like how you can't yeah. cheat back. right uh... that's true Unless you, unless well, no, you're... some people stay because you know what? I'll be honest. I stayed for a while after I got cheated on, and that was with. It was stupid. It was like, like my first love, so yeah, that was stupid. Mm. But I've done that, so yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's it's not stupid. Uh, usually, I like watch this guy who's like a therapist on uh, YouTube all the time, and he like watches reality TV shows, but then like applies therapy to it, which is kind of nice. But like, he's like, most of the time people cheat because there's something wrong with them, not something wrong with the relationship. Yep. So there are means that you can fix the relationship if you like work on yourself. So that's my probably unpopular stance about that. I don't, I'm not a philosopher of like once a cheater, always a cheater. I am a philosopher of go get yourself some help. People, people who are mentally healthy don't cheat. Uh, they frozen? end the relationship. Yeah, Joan, you're freezing just a little I bit. I mean, we could hear you. You were just frozen. Oh, it's okay. It's <laughs> cold as ice. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Joan, do you want to talk about your shitty uh, traits? <laughs> my, my shitty <laughs> traits? Of course. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I mean, uh, not just. According to Frank, you have to call your husband female. for that. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't like all of the shitty things I've done are like a little bit like more on like the sad side so i don't want to bring that down i would say the most passive aggressive thing i've ever done was i uh had this guy in my car and he was being like a jerk to me during the weekend and we had gone back up to like visit like where i went to college which was four hours away uh so on the ride back home because he was a dick to me i didn't speak to him for four hours like i just didn't talk and blasted <laughs> music the whole time <laughs> That's pretty passive aggressive. That's it's pretty very passive, passive aggressive. aggressive. It's not good. I would just call it a grip. You shouldn't cold stone. Cold. You should not cold stone. Aggr I didn't hit him. Shouldn't take <laughs> she, she, cold she wall. Cold. What stone is it? Cold stunner. Stone wall stunner. <laughs> the stone no, wall stunner. Yeah. Son of a bitch. You <laughs> piece of shit. You fucking Joan. goddamn fucker. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a heavy Alex Jones day. Jones I said it used to be. Joan hitting the wine is gonna be a good night. Oh, it's not. It's ginger ale. You're drinking <laughs> ginger ale out of a goblet. Yeah. I, this is plastic. Wait, wait to judge her. 
Way to be judgy. I just assumed that she was drinking wine out of a goblet. That's all. How come you don't ever talk shit about all these white boxes in the background, Frank? You just attack Joan every time. I don't. First of all, I don't attack Joan. Secondly, when I bust that's some, an opinion, sir. When I bust somebody's balls, I do it out of endearment, not because I don't even have balls. It's a figure mm. of speech. Mm. But, uh, you have three of them, remember? No, no, she's. <laughs> no, got, you asked. She's got three nipples. She's got a. Oh, surprise. that's right. Three she nipples. Went with the nipples. She My went logical three nipples. is, I don't want extra of something I don't have. I'd so rather that, take something extra that I have. She wanted a surprise one for Justin. Like, hey, here's something that you weren't expecting. Like, was that? Was that the? This is was, more than what you paid for. Congratulations. Yeah. Here's a so Lord, to be honest, what's the shittiest thing you've done? Uh, before yeah, I go... Because you, oh, you haven't like... shitted on your pants, so you're probably not a shitty person. So let's hear this. Be she before touched. I go, before okay. I go, I want to hear Doug's. Because so oh, far, no, no, no. I feel like my uh, story is a no, no. She called you out, man. Listen. You're G trying to... No. Okay. Listen. We you want to hear it, Frank? You want to hear? You don't have it? a shitty story. No, 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 he's got lots of shitty stories. I've <laughs> done a lot of pretty fucked up things Bad in things. the past that I'm not proud of, but this is a this is a therapy session for us, at least for me. You know, I get to come on here and laugh at all the old shit that I used to do that was hilarious and that I don't do anymore or don't really even think about until I literally fucking nine o'clock until we log on and uh, start talking about it. Uh, you guys have heard the 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 Gatorade story, right? You know, yeah. I've, I've 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 talked about that. You might have in a bottle, yeah. Yeah, I, I I in in high school running track, I uh, we go on these long trips. I drank a little bit of some Gatorade of the bigger bottles. I drank about half of it, and then I filled up the rest with piss because I had to really go and left the bottle in the fucking seat and. We go in and you know do our event. You know we're 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 at we're at this all day track meet and kind of find out that my coach had drank uh, the piss bottle. <laughs> he drank the piss bottle and got sick and had to go home. He he didn't even stay for the rest of the track meet. So that's a story. But another one that I don't know if I've talked about this. There was this girl that I used to fool around with. And she was kind of, but not really dating my little brother. And oh. <laughs> just a little bit of backstory. Oh, my little brother and I haven't talked in like two and a half years. Uh, and so I don't feel as bad. I've tried to apologize to him and he just doesn't, he refused. I was the one that fucked up. But anyways, and I don't think he knows about this and I don't think he's going to watch this. So this is why I think it's kind of funny. Actually, it's not funny. It's pretty fucked up so he's dating this girl sort of dating this girl and the girl showed some interest in me i uh, uh we get invited to go to this birthday party at a club and this was you know years ago i was early this was early 20s uh i think i was like actually i think i was like barely 21 anyways i asked the girl that he's dating if she needed a ride to the club so i take her to the club and on the way to the club uh i get some fellatio and i <laughs> finish in this girl's mouth and we get to the club and i drop her off at the front i go park and you know like we pretended like we weren't there with each other and i get i walk into the club and I look over at the bar and my little brother is making out with this. <laughs> the, you, you said this story before, but you said it was your friend. So you didn't want no, to tell us no, it was no, no. your brother. I this, also, was, this is my little brother. I this also know he told the other story about the Gatorade urine completely different this time. I noticed that. Well, I, you guys have heard it. Uh, really? I've talked about it before. I wanted to just yeah. kind of really? speed through it. But that's... Uh, now i don't i didn't do that on purpose i didn't think that they were going to be making out at the club but uh it happened and that's a that's a pretty shitty that's a pretty shitty story um so yeah, I don't know, i'm gonna say i mean first of all you shouldn't pick up something off the floor and just drink it like you know so i'm not saying oh good he got sick 
but I mean, it's coach's fault. He got sick. He should have no drank something random I, on the floor. I, 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 I did. I did sort of maliciously. I think I've, I've said this before is that I closed it really tight and I put the, the bottom ring to match up with the little, you know how, you know how it kind of tears. It has a little tabs where they kind of touch. Yeah, It has the line on there. Well, I put them all together. So make it look like it was still brand new. Okay. Um, you know, kind of hoping maybe a teammate what's, drink it, but not my coach. Was it in the days of the Gatorade glass <laughs> bottle? Oh my God. Was it in the days of the Gatorade glass bottle or was it in a plastic? I'm just, no, it was still plastic. It was still plastic. This was, this was like Oh four Oh five. Oh. Dirty D. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I did a couple things. Like I feel like or, Doug and I could go back and forth yeah. on the I like Lord Cronus. If, if I actually like took time to sit about it, I would have to reflect pretty hard. <laughs> so I had a couple that I just like I didn't even when I heard the assignment, I didn't even look into it because I knew I could just come off and stuff off the cuff. <laughs> and um <laughs> And do the assignment on the funnier <laughs> on the on the funnier side of things. Um, the one time I was taking a, I don't know if I told you guys the story, but I was taking a jog once, and it was at night. And uh, usually, for for some reason, whenever like typically I go to the bathroom before a jog because it gets all the insides jostled, but I didn't do it this time. And uh, I went jogging mm. down the road. I uh, was in a I was in like a subdivision area, and it, it was dusk so it was a little dark and man the time came and i had to go and uh there was nothing close either way as far as bathrooms no businesses so like i straight up squatted in some dude's yard and just shit in his yard and then i wiped <laughs> i wiped i wiped with my shirt threw my shirt in his yard and then went jogging home you didn't even yeah, I'm pretty like, sure he had... was a dog poop oh you no no because dog I, poop? there's no way because i mean my shirt was i left my sh- you left your DNA. <laughs> on top of it. Oh. Yeah. And then like on top did you, of it. Did you, it, like, know it was you? did you say you put the <laughs> shirt in the mailbox? No, he said he left it. There. No, I just threw it on the ground. But that that was like and it I felt, you know, that was like a suburban neighborhood, so like definitely kids in the area, that's for sure. Mm. That's one. <laughs> Another one that's like more scummy that I still Yeah, give me the scummy. I don't know, Lurk look. Lord Cronus can relate to these, which is yeah, that like give me this, I remember back at give me the scummy yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> back in the you know early twenties or something, um, I remember what, I broke up with a girlfriend at the time being, and one of my ex girlfriends wanted to reach out to me, and uh, I met them at the bar, and I thought I thought her I thought her friend was you know good looking, so I ended up uh, you know when we all went home, I ended up giving her a call. <laughs> And had the, you know, hung out with the friend a little bit. Ah! Wait, that same her, night that you her, met them at the bar? Honey. <laughs> yeah, her, her best friend. Her best friend. Oh. Yeah. Gina, um, and did yet. the other girl ever find out? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gina, definitely found out. Oh, Listen, I don't know. Here's Didn't what go I... Well. It was, I'm you know, not, not happy, but I'm not proud of it. Jonathan's <laughs> story is the same as Doug's story. Doug's story is he was making out at the bar with this girl. They just got done blowing Lord Cronus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Same people. It just the third. Doug's my little brother. Third, okay. yeah. I mean, isn't he, though? <laughs> really? He looks exactly the same. Look. Dude, look at you guys could be, you guys are definitely brothers. I don't know. Right? His eyebrows are more like yours, though. Right I'm, now, they are. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. <laughs> Eyebrows go, go in the family, dude. I don't know. There's plenty others, um, but those are like two of the big ones I can think of. Another one that I felt really bad for in high school was I remember that like, uh, there was a kid that I was, I, you know, dates and like girlfriends in high school aren't nothing. So like uh, the one, the one girl left me because I wasn't paying attention to her and uh she dated one of my friends and I remember during gym class, we got into the locker room and I started whipping this kid with a towel and I didn't realize how bad it was hurting him. And, uh, he like ran and he ran into the corner of a garbage can and just started crying on the ground. I'm like, oh, all, right, all right, this is a new low. This you is were a just new... a fucking bully. <laughs> I wasn't really what it is. I was like, 
I was the ant. If you talked, I was like the anti-bully. I was the kid that like was big enough that could screw with the bullies. But yeah. I felt bad about that. I even apologized to him. Like oh, an adult. We we all did shit like that. Yeah. I, just from your story, I thought of two things that I've done that are similar. See? Yeah, because you towards women. No, no, no. There's this one kid. His fucking name was that was his name. Everybody hated him because he wouldn't shower. And everybody would bully him, like the whole class. It's one thing for like, there's a couple bullies, there's a couple of people who get bullied. This was like both, like everyone in the class, plus even the girls would like, be like, dude, I'll take your uniform and wash it for you. You just wouldn't do it. And this one day, uh, they fucking locked him in the gym footlocker. He was in the locker room, they fucking threw him in there and they put a padlock on it. Wait a second here. I bullied some guy that took my girlfriend. You just be, like bullied a no, stinky I didn't, kid. I didn't touch the kid. Up. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, bro? Yes, all of the guys threw him in this fucking little Foot Locker thing. All of the guys? Aren't you one of the guys? Technically, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that happened. And then, uh, yeah, no, I, there was another time where like I was getting bullied. A bit. I used to get bullied all the fucking time because, like, I oh, was. Oh, that's how this. That's how you deserved it. Hold this on. Isn't, this isn't therapy for you. I, I used to yeah, get. Yeah, this isn't. This isn't. I. I <laughs> was bullied. I this me... isn't. People did shitty things to me. The, no, listen. So here's what I did that was shitty. Shut the fuck so, up. No one cares. Know your fucking place. Trash. All right. All right. All right. Move on. <laughs> turn. Tell us again. Tell us. Tell us another one, Joan. You can take a turn. Do you have another one, Joan? Don't. I, I had a hard time with one. Um, I, I know you've nothing. done something worse than that. I'm trying to. I really have to like. I know you're a saint, but I'm not a saint. I'm not. No, 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 not by any means. But like, the the shitty things that I have been done, like I've done, it's like a retaliation thing, and it's usually like not the happiest of story. It's just, or like, mm. so I don't want to do that. But do do do. Um. Cheated on a, a a boyfriend in college. No, boyfriend in college oh. with my husband. We had broken up for a little while, and then we started seeing each other again. Mm. Uh, and that wasn't that wasn't fun. For but it worked out for your husband. It did work out for my husband. No, he was a. Oh God! Oh, he was uh, in the theater. In college and I think the shittiest thing I can say like besides cheating on him is like recently I found he had a TikTok and I watched it with my, my previous college roommate and uh it was really bad and cringy and we laughed really hard at it mm. so apparently mm. I'm still a petty bitch because I just mm. kept watching and laughing at it <laughs> it's really bad I'll send it to you later it's just because put, I'm just put it in our Discord so we can laugh at it. Oh, I, oh, I definitely will. <laughs> Gina, I know so, you got yeah. some. I know you got some some more stories. G give me, give me a juicy one, juicy Gina. Um, I mean, I don't. I feel like I've done some pretty shitty things. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can almost relate to the one Joan was talking about. I went. I was. I used to work at a movie theater here in Chicago. And I had an ex who worked at the movie theater as well. But we were like kind of still dating at the time. And I was talking to this guy. Now, the person I was dating is of the opposite sex. Uh, I'm sorry, is of the same sex. And I started dating someone else kind of of the opposite sex. And I went to the movie theater and was like with him, like in her face, which... That was pretty shitty because, you know, I brought it to her face. Were, like, you, were you doing it to be petty or were you just? Honestly, I, I, I had no reason as to or why. Were you like to... hoping that she wasn't there? No, I think I knew that she was working too. Like I knew oh. she would work that night. So I was she, just like. She checked the schedule. Ooh. She's like, all right. <laughs> all right. I used to yeah. work there too. So it's like I knew kind of the schedule. So yeah, that was pretty shitty. Tight. That was pretty shitty. I shouldn't. I'm like, you know. He might have he might have figured out that I was watching his TikToks. I just went to his profile and now it's private. Oh. Uh... 
Oh, he knew. That's Does it terrible. show who watches it? Uh, I think sometimes I don't, it's you. I was gonna say I don't. That's... I don't know anything about TikTok, so. Which is fine. He can. He can. You know. I will send. I will send you the guy's name, and then you guys can look at it, and you can understand. Yeah, Doug. Doug. Doug <laughs> is a TikTok master. He has a uh, TikTok for Super Bowls. He Actually, our, he's our social media manager. The Joan, Joe D TikTok. Joan has a TikTok for late night legends. Let me tell you, that shit is blowing the fuck up. Thousands of views. Yeah, that's because you guys awesome. got a bunch of. That's because there's. So, Does he really look like following. Chuck Norris? Huh? <laughs> Does he really look like Chuck Norris? <laughs> he's hairier than he was. Well, mm, oh. He looks like uh, Chuck Norris with Down syndrome. His face is hairier than it was in college. His face is hairier than it was in college. Mm, I don't know. Good looking, good looking fella there. Is he? Uh, no, no, no. It's a haircut. It's a haircut where he <laughs> he becomes it's like the. Uh, yeah. Let me let me say this too. I am. He looks five like he looks like an art teacher. <laughs> he looks like a musical jazz teacher. Like he he'd be there teaching interpretive jazz. A piano too. But let's learn about music theory, everybody. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> he he looks like he's about to teach us about uh, cryptocurrency. He he no. was teaching Zumba <laughs> at one point in, in time. Zumba after college. Yeah, after college. That's respectable. You know, bullies. Yeah, dude. it looks like he's about to tell you his timeshare too. <laughs> that that might be so. That I could see that. I could see this oh. guy is the type of guy that's gonna fall for a pyramid scheme and then try to convince others to join the the Ponzi scheme and be like, hey guys, let me. I got a business investment idea for you. Do you got that's a few? Yeah, he looks like the timeshare. Uh, <laughs> would he do that? Um, he doesn't. I don't think he would. He doesn't look like somebody who would come at you with bad intent. It feels like this type of dude would get scammed himself and then pitch it back to you to continue the scam, but unknowing to him, it would be a scam. But he's scammed, yeah. He like thinks it's, it's yeah. a real deal. Oh, yeah. It's a real money-making opportunity. Is this the four-hour <laughs> no, drive? Is this the four-hour drive? No, 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 no. That was a different guy. That uh, guy. I gotcha. Can Ooh. I tell you a story where yeah. I was sent to the fucking dean's office because everybody thought I was a piece of shit, and I actually kind of was. I said but... I used to be. So, <laughs> fucking story for you. I was absent from school on September 11th, and I was 15 years old. Okay. Oh Jesus. I was not there the day that the planes hit. I was at home sleeping. I got woken up. That's a whole different story. It's un it's unrelated. The next okay. day, doesn't check out. September 12th, when I went to school. All of the classes were going to be dedicated to just having a talk about it. I had pro programming class, second period, and my classmate, who I'm still friends with on Facebook, his name is Patrick, okay? He sat next to me, and that's when they would do the Pledge of Allegiance and all that shit, the announcements, second period, right? They wouldn't do it first period. They waited till second, right? So, again, second period rolls around, and they decided, the school decided to have the choir or whoever the fuck sing, like, I don't know, like Star Spangled Banner or, or some patriotic song. I don't remember. But the choir was singing very, very sad. And the whole school was quiet. The whole fucking school went quiet. And I'm in programming class in the basement with the lights off. I have a class of people around me. This guy Patrick is sitting next to me. And I look over at him. And for some reason, don't ask me why, this motherfucker is laughing when those, when those people are singing. Laughing. And he's just laughing so hard. And he's trying to stop himself from laughing so what did he what does he do he takes his hand and he starts biting his own hand to stop himself from laughing well <laughs> i'm sitting there next to him like finding that situation hilarious so i also decided like oh my god i i'm trying to not laugh so because i was it was i was laughing whether i wanted to or not and so i was at first trying to also repress my laughter so now i got us two fucking hyenas up in the second row of programming class Everybody's sad and heartbroken over September 11th. We're up there trying to hold back our laughter. Well, guess what? Something happened. I don't know what happened. He started laughing first, then I bust out laughing. Okay. The fucking programming teacher who never said a word to us is like in the hallway. We go in the hallway. He's like, you guys are the fucking worst part of this country. 
go to the fucking dean. I'm so ashamed to even be your teacher. We're going to call your parents. And like, it was a big thing. And like, I got excused from the next class because a lot of the same kids went to the same class after that, which was English. And I just remember being like, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was so funny because the school counselor was like one of these dudes that was trying to be like a serious psychologist. And he's like, well, people deal with different serious topics differently. And I think that you guys just didn't know how to fucking deal with the trauma that you've suffered. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, Racism has like, never right. existed. Well, but for a while, I was public enemy piece of shit number one for that class because like nobody, nobody knew why. And to be honest, until this day, I still don't know why. You don't know, uh, know why you started laughing. No, I just started laughing because he was <laughs> laughing. Something about when somebody's <laughs> laughing and they're trying to hold back their laughter is so funny to me. Yeah. And I'll tell you, what, you guys want a fucking receipt? I'm friends with them on Facebook. Who's friends with me on Facebook? I think Doug and Joan. Let me tag this motherfucker just for a receipt and be like tell, hey dude tell the story i want the receipts i i want to see i, I well, actually i want you to ask him what was he laughing at what was he laughing if he remembers I'll, what he was laughing right at. Now, I'll, hug, uh, I'll tag joan and doug i'll tag him and i'll ask him right the fuck now he's married with kids and shit now <laughs> hey gonna... do you remember that time that you were laughing dude, at on september 12th what That's were you laughing 12. at <laughs> here we go here we fucking go where's he at Let's go. So I have tons of shitty ass stories. I worked at a grocery store and I think I've talked about how I used to be pretty much pretty close to being a male gigolo when I worked at a, a grocery store. Um, I worked at a grocery store three or four years, something like that. Even after college, I was working there, even though I had a full time job at work on the weekends at a grocery store. And I loved it. <clears throat> I loved it because most of the people that go shop at grocery store are women. And the part of Texas that we were at, a lot of the husbands and boyfriends would go out to West Texas to the oil fields. It was uh, it was around the time that like everybody right out of high school, all the dudes would go straight into the oil fields. So they leave their girlfriends and wives and whatever behind. And uh <clears throat> I remember this one time we just hired this girl and she had like a nine month old little baby and she was married. Her husband was like military, but he was working in the uh, oil fields and it was just <clears throat> anyways, I uh, like she'd, she'd been working there like a week and uh, we ended up, we ended up having sex in the, uh, in my boss's office and, and <laughs> <laughs> on his desk and uh we, you know because i worked i we worked till close and uh which was like 10 o'clock or whatever and i remember i remember <laughs> pulling out and nothing in the trash <laughs> just leaving the trash there <laughs> oh ah! dude uh, i look type something out for one second i turn back and you're nothing in the trash <laughs> what? yeah nothing in the trash <laughs> it's because i'm a dirty girl yeah yeah and uh and then i remember seeing her and her husband like when she wasn't working like actually grocery shopping i'd be like hey what's up nothing happened anyways that's uh that's kind of a lot of my stories are those yeah. kind of stories uh i did remember stealing uh when we were in college actually in high school and college we were too poor to buy any clothes so we'd steal a bunch of clothes from the mall I heard this. Um, I can confirm you've told this story before, so I know yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we used Keep to beat up mailboxes. <laughs> like the night before track meets or, or cross country meets or football games, we would uh, we'd go we'd go beat up uh, mirrors. Uh, we would just drive by neighborhoods, and I'd be hanging out of the car with a baseball bat, just banging fucking mirrors just going by and hitting all these mirrors and then uh uh mailboxes and i think i think i told you about the time i almost got my arm ripped off we were hitting all these mailboxes and just knocking them over and we were at the nicer part of town i remember and we saw this glorious super nice uh mailbox across the street when we were going hitting all these mailboxes so we bust a bitch we do a u-turn 
and we come back and we're and he he punches it i mean we're going like i say punches it we weren't going too fast because we were hitting the fucking mailbox so anyways we're going like 35 miles an hour and i swing this aluminum bat and i hit this mailbox and my arm almost gets ripped off i, I just hear boing, and the fucking bat just goes flying back like 20 feet yeah exactly and i i felt like my arm was like ripped anyways we had a reverse go pick up the fucking bat and then uh, we were kind of done for that night, but yeah, that's uh, that there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fucking hooligan bullshit stories. Uh, fuck, I remember there's this one time we were in this really nice part of town, and I don't know if up north, and I've lived I lived in the south my almost my entire life. Actually, my entire life I've been in the south. Uh, And so I don't know if like up in the north, like guys have souped up trucks with these big mudding tires and depends uh, on where you're going. Like when I was in Vermont, like trucks were a thing and like women were attracted to men's trucks, which is not something I understood from New Jersey. But yeah, they go. That's that's a that's 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 a that's a big thing uh, being younger down. You know, you don't you don't really see a, a ton of older dudes. Uh, but you see a lot of guys in their twenties with fucking I big can ass tell- tires, you know, lifted lift kits in their trucks, and you know, straight pipes or some flow masters. Anyways, we seen this big ass truck, and I don't remember if it was like they cut off my buddy one time or they recognized the truck or whatever it was. But we saw the fucking truck, and uh, they had some some decal on there. And that's how we recognized it, and I remember we. We stopped at the end of the street and we all got out of the car. There was three of us and we just run all of us, all of us run over there and we get our knives and we just like at the same time, we like pin the knife up against the tire and then we count down and we're like, boom, and we flatten all the tires in that big ass truck and then we took off. Yeah. Piece of shit. It really had nothing to do in the South, huh? No, no, that was <laughs> oh man. I would Trash like to, other people's things. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to offer a response to the car thing because I got a, I got a quick, I got a quick two. Well, I got, I got one more. Let, let, you've, let, you've let, let, Frank, let Frankie go. I want to hear, want to hear Francis. I was just gonna say that I was just gonna say that like the the truck culture of like worshiping your truck and and that that does exist here, but it's usually yeah. people from Texas or out of town that do that here. What people that are car dudes usually go for are like the really speedy Subarus and Hondas and shit. Like that's mm. like the whole culture of like Fast and Furious. Like there's a whole fucking that's still going on down there or up there. Well, I mean, it was. I, I don't. I don't think that's really going on. But we never had the same level of pickup truck culture that exists in the South. Because I know what you're talking about. That does not. There exist. was there was a huge phase where Fast and the Furious. You know, everybody would put uh did slam their little honda civics at you know 95 I, horsepower with the glass pack and it sounded super everybody would, i mean they, fucking, i did that shit when i was in high school but a fucking nitrous in their 1989 civic <laughs> and see what happens yeah. like yeah oh yeah we had we had more of that and i and i can tell you from visiting the south the culture for the pickup trucks is nowhere near the same level up here mm. doug what That's you got it. All right. What I got is, um, it's kind of a two for us, but it's not as long, but, uh, so I, when I was younger, I used to work on cars and I did, uh, like automotive work <laughs> and I, uh, the one time I was changing someone's tires and I needed to find their hubcap key on an older car. So I went to his glove box to go find it. And when he went to his glove box, he had a pipe in there, like a, like a smoking pipe. Like a hashish so PCP? For, yeah. For some THC. So oh, okay. I'm like... If I take this thing, what is this guy gonna do? Like, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna tell on me? Is he be like, someone stole my illegal paraphernalia? So I, I took it out of his car, and then that same night, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Okay, I went to a party that same night, and uh, we were using it at that party, and one of the guys really liked it, and I told him forty bucks, and he bought it off me for forty <laughs> bucks. But then at the same token. <laughs> At the same token, this still goes, I had kind of connections in the area and someone told me that uh, our house is getting hot and uh, we were going to get busted. So oh. he called me and told me this. So I dipped because I didn't want to draw attention so that like everybody's all mad rushing out and I dipped. 
And that guy ended up getting busted for paraphernalia at that party. Because mm. <laughs> he bought that <laughs> pipe off me. <laughs> oh, those stories are hilarious to me. Yeah. I, I don't I don't I don't know about you guys, but I, I think those are pretty funny. You just escaped getting in trouble. Oh yeah. man. We want to do some would you rather before we close it? You know, I wanted to talk about this thing that I heard uh here recently about all these folks from chicago there was like these 15 women uh from chicago that went to las vegas for a bachelorette party and they left their fiancés and husbands at home and uh apparently one of the girls that was invited uh was sleeping with the guy that was to get married <clears throat> And, and it wasn't the fiance, I would assume. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the fiance. Okay. Uh, Just to double check. The fiance was that. there, but she didn't yeah. know about the other girl sleeping with this guy. Yeah. So there was two and, women at this party sleeping with one, the, the same with guy. With the same guy. And it was a, the, Got the, it. the guy that was supposed to get married. Yeah. yeah. And okay. so apparently they have this bachelorette party and they have these uh, two strippers there. And a bunch of girls are taking, you know, they're, they're getting their lap dances or whatever. And apparently they start taking turns on the guys and the girl that's not getting married the one that's the i guess the uh bridesmaid not the friend the the friend that's sleeping with the uh the the mistress is that what you're looking for the mistress the mistress mistress. let's just say the mistress Mistress. the mistress starts recording uh the the girl that's the you know supposed to get married and other girls you know slobbing on this guy's knob and sends it back to him <laughs> sends it back to him and when the women get back like out of the 15 nine of them are getting divorced because <laughs> the fuck was going on in vegas <laughs> anyways Wait, so there was a it's wedding season days? frank's getting married next month i thought the story was relevant uh yeah buddy good luck with that yeah it's like the whole horrible the whole horrible story thing i'm really hoping that y- you and i have some new ones after frank's wedding well, I think we will. Lord Cronus is not going to the bachelor party because he's not paying for an extra plane ticket, but you'll be there, Doug. So yeah, we'll definitely have a story from that. I do. I do have uh, the hotel booked. We got our our rental car. We got we got we'll talk about after the show, though, guys. We, Can we, we, we? We we got all that. We got all that uh, booked. Anyways, uh, yeah. If you guys want to, we can finish out with some would you rather's and uh, let's 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 hear them start off with joan okay <laughs> uh to the room would you rather to the wall. be locked in a room with a thousand spiders with the lights on or with one large unknown creature and the lights are off are the spiders with the lights on poisonous they're just spiders I, I choose the spiders because there's no reason to believe that's not already happening at any given time. Yeah, spiders. there's a thousand spiders in your I, room. Spiders can be tiny. Have you ever seen like a like a spider like that has all the babies on the back of their abdomen? They're, they're what's thousands. that? What's that statistic that you you eat like six or seven spiders a year because it crawls in your mouth while you're asleep? I don't know well, if that's think, true. Yeah. I don't false. think that's actually real. There's a lot of misinformation about spiders, like those two guys that were trying to name that one spider, and they're like, ah, oh, this spider's name is not sexual enough, so then they just, you know, the long leg <laughs> spider? They, they're like, we need this long leg spider name to be more sexual. Yeah. What's the unknown creature? Uh, uh... Well, it's unknown. <laughs> unknown. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was, I was, as soon as it came out of my no. mouth, I I, I was going to say. That is the second statistic that Lord Cronus has just thrown at us today. There was one in the Discord that he was like, "Can you go look that up for me?" And I was like, "Sure." I think. <laughs> Did we you find have anything an on it? I left you a dissertation on it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should just have an episode or a segment where Lord Cronus just tells us statistics that yeah. he's heard. Yeah. Let's see. You got one, Cronus. Uh no, I, you guys, you guys go. I want to hear Gina's. Uh, I. She said oh, she had a good a would one. Would you rather? Yeah, yeah. A good. Would you rather? Would you rather? Okay, okay. 
All right, I'm going to go with uh, first one. Uh, would you rather have, you know how, okay, so would you rather have wet food in your mouth and let your cat eat it or would you let your dog eat it out of dog. your mouth? Dog. My dog. Dog's supposed to have a cleaner mouth. Oh, also the the cat would bite your tongue. Cats don't I, care. I just fucking yeah, hate also, cats. Also, also fuck. Yeah, cats. I was gonna say I don't like cats. I like cats. I just don't want a cat to eat from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want me to go next? Yep, let's hear. It. Sure. This is everybody. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather eat Donald Trump's dick or <laughs> Alex Jones' asshole? Oh my when God. you say eat it, like bite it off, <laughs> you? or are you just hey. talking about just fucking polishing the knob? Doug, do you snap it off like a Slim Jim? Interpret it as you may. I'll leave it open. I'll leave it open. <laughs> well, when you say eat somebody's ass, I just think oh, you're just tossing just... the salad. Yeah, that's what I would assume too, but you can interpret it as you may. Uh, I would rather eat Donald Trump's dick. Me too. Me too. I'm not gonna eat Alex Jones' ass. There's no. First of all, it's not. I'm sure it's not very big. Second of all, there's no. There's no rule on the chewing. I just assume just take it down like an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine all like the Lemon soundboard and clips you can get from, like, all the soundboard clips you can get from like either one of those encounters. <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah, you didn't see the Stormy Daniels uh, interview where she talks about how small his penis was. No, I didn't. I didn't know about that. Yeah, that it's it? like it, she was on Stephen Colbert, and uh, he brings out this fucking little plate of different size mushrooms, and she makes him pick, or he makes her pick which one uh, is closest to, and she picks like this little bitty <laughs> fucking two What's incher. It? Wasn't there like that statue of like Donald yeah. Trump naked that someone put up, and it had like. <laughs> A very, very small penis to like kind of embarrass him. But, or was that a fever yes. dream that I had like in oh, early 2017? You had a fever dream about Donald Trump's penis? I was asking. I thought, nope, not. <laughs> you were no. pretty quick on the answer to this uh, question. So, jo Joan, you're you answer pretty quick. I, I can recall that was the thing. I can okay, definitely. So, we, we had a shared fever dream. Thank you. Oh wow! Uh, right. No, I was going to answer because Alex Jones is the type of person who would shit in your mouth, and like be like, "Well, why did you? Why did you make me do that?" And like, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess because Donald yeah, there Trump, is. Look. <laughs> Donald Trump is into pee play, though. I'm thinking it's the one all the way on the left, or maybe the one that's kind of. Yeah, I like think it's the one on the left. Look, three over from the left. maybe like the three over from the left. <laughs> that's fucked up. We could watch the segment. Do you guys want hey, to? Uh, no, we're not watching it. Don't, don't. Oh, oh, all right, I'll, we'll get YMCA. Hold on, let me stop the share. All right, we're good. Yeah, I don't YMCA. Get YMCA. <laughs> oh boy, Frank, you got any? You got any good ones? Ah, uh, mine are not super good tonight. But motherfucker, uh, listen. How about this? I saw that tab on Reddit. Yeah, man. I I, I gotta I gotta go through and find if there's any material better than mine. All right. Would you rather? Okay, so this is one that I thought was interesting. I don't think we've ever asked it before. So this will turn back the clock. It's gonna do. You're gonna do time travel, okay? You would you rather stay where you are, completely normal, or time travel back to before you lost your virginity? You remain a virgin forever, but you can have a superpower of your choice. What would you rather do? And you never have sex. You remain a virgin. And you never have sex. You never have you never sex. Kids, never yeah, have kids. That's a hard pass for me. So you'd yeah. rather give up invisibility, flying, fucking telekinesis, just to do it? Yeah, I'm not giving up sex. I'm sorry. No, I mean Lord Cronus gave up cheat like cheese, and that's pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck cheese. I think cheese is a superpower. I, yeah, I'll give up cheese. No comment on the cheese thing. Fuck, I'll give up cheese. I'll oh, give you up also bread. Gave, you also pick cheese, Frank. <clears throat> no, like, he if I recollect, get, and he doesn't. Frank get, said he would give up. Just wanted to make a sex. fight. Frank said he would give up sex for, for bread. cheese. Remember that? I did say that. Do you guys remember <clears throat> that? Do you know I, I got so much trouble? You know, it's not often that 
there's somebody extra listening to the show, but that one particular night and that one particular <laughs> moment, holy shit. Was man. it sex? It was just oral sex. It, it was just cool. oral sex. Wait, 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 wait. Is it, is it, is it, uh, intercourse or is it fellatio too? It's intercourse. Oh, so I can still get a hand ski and I can still get some head. I, I would say call it a hand ski. <laughs> No, I don't think you're get any I don't think anybody's gonna ever give anyone else a hand ski. <laughs> so I, I I just have to give up penetration sex. Do you prefer the term beige or bloge? I don't think I've ever heard bleach or Ble- that's a, bloge. That's a second would you rather question. And I yeah. don't like either of them. Oh, oh shit. You've reached My- your limit on talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if, if if your comments are bleach and bloge, yeah, I think that oh. I, I second that. <laughs> oh. Hey, babe, you want to give me a beige? <laughs> no, a beige. Now, he he said bleach. Bleach. He's a added an L to it. You know, now, if you said a beige. Beige. Like the Bee Gees. You want to you want to come over from Saturday Night Fever? You know what I'm talking about? I always tell my wife if she needs a throat swab. That's that's <laughs> that's the term I use. <laughs> Jesus. That's 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 my go to. I'm going to feel dirty. I'm, I'm going to just take out of the street. <laughs> I'm so glad that she loves you. Yep. I'm glad she I'm loves so me. I'm so happy too. that she. I'm so glad she loves you. I'm so happy you found someone who accepts that as a term of endearment. You know, you know what's funny is that you know I wish I, to have y'all my think, I, y'all think I'm dirty. Wait till y'all meet my wife. Seriously, like y'all think I'm. I have. I was this. gonna say that. I was gonna say normally when you're with like a you know a man who's dirty, they're ten times more like his wife is even dirtier, <laughs> and yeah. that's why they go to great together. Yeah, uh, if I, I had to describe, my husband my... To come... oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I say I would want my husband to come and tell me, like, you know, hey, honey, you know, hey, does, your... does the back of your throat itch? You know, can I? Stroke? Yeah. See. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I want my husband to tell me that. Yes. But you know, the reality is, the reality is, you're gonna get yourself a husband that's gonna be like, yo, how do you feel about a hand ski? <laughs> <laughs> that's the reality. That's. <laughs> I like. No. That today's episode, I found out what Jones' like limits are, <laughs> and that's talking about. I just don't like things. no sexual things. Is fun. I don't like weird terms for sexual things. Just call it what it is. Do you know what like a it's blumpkin a hand job, is? a blow job? What? You know what a blumpkin, blumpkin is? Don't don't say I'm anything, hurt. guys. I want to hear Joan. No, I've heard that term. I don't know. I can't okay. recall what it is. If you had no, to I... guess, if you had to guess. Tell me what you think, what sexual act a Blumpkin is. I like this game. Also, it feels Doug, like something with like farting. Like you would fart on someone or something like that. Ah, it, she's, it's, you're the in the right hole, hole, but you're the right not. Hole. <laughs> what do you, it's okay, so it's with your butthole. What do you do with your butthole? It has something to do with that, just in okay. general. Blumpkin. Lord Cronus, can you also check out the name of the stream? It's quite relevant to our conversation. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, like the Super Bowl stream if you've given yourself the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Let I me describe I what I think is a stranger. <laughs> and then you tell me if it's the same one. And then we'll circle back to Joan okay. on okay. after she Googles what a Blumpkin is. I, I am going to Google it because I don't know. <laughs> okay. What I think the stranger is, is when you sit on your left hand or your, you know, if your prominent hand is a right hand. So if I, I sit on my left hand and until it gets numb oh. and then I give myself a hand ski with my numb hand, <laughs> it's, it's the stranger. Okay. Am I right? 100% correct. Yeah. What do you, you know have what a, um, terms? How, uh, do you know about... what a cold? Hold on. Hold on. Gina, do you know what a cold Carl is? Wait, I've heard of, I think I've heard of this. Isn't that when like someone shits on you? You're close. I, You're close. It's I when like I've heard of that. it's when you take a shit and you freeze the log and then you use that log to shove it up a girl's hoo-ha. 
I've heard that um, called an Alaskan pipeline. It's the same thing, yes. Okay. I've never heard it called a cold, cold carl. I've heard Alaskan pipeline. Okay, did you look up a Blunkin? I did. It's not what it's not it? the worst thing. It's just it's, getting uh, head you while you're taking a shit. A, yeah, like you you take a shit and give someone head. I my husband and I don't have many Wait. secrets, but the one thing is we've never seen each other poop, and that's the one mystery that we've decided to keep in our relationship. The yeah. one. <laughs> so yeah. that would not be a thing we're into. <laughs> I'm not saying I've done these things. I just think they're funny. I think they're hilarious. And I feel like I'm Doug like, has a really good time at the window. What? I. Yeah. Well, okay. So what would you assume a jelly Bismarck is? <laughs> Jelly Bismarck? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I that is. I feel like that's something with old semen. Or like a girl on her period or something. What? What? Um, like, it might be the same one, Doug. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it a strawberry shortcake? No. Oh, this is probably something that Frank knows. Okay. What the fuck? I'll, let, <laughs> Frank, I'll let Frank guess this one. I don't like what I'm looking up. That doesn't make me feel I'm good. Guess, I'm going to guess it has something to do with prolapse. No, it's bad. Well, okay, say the name again. A jelly Bismarck. A Jelly Bismarck. I have no clue. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that's, mm, no, that's not nice. This is <laughs> still nice. International Women's Month. <laughs> that is so rude. That's why I figured Frank might know. What? Okay. <laughs> That's like upsetting. Like that makes me upset. It's, it's, Hold on. Do you know what a do you know what a strawberry shortcake is, Doug? That is that is a mixture, I believe. Yes. Of it two is a mixture. Joan, do you know what a strawberry shortcake is? <laughs> Google it. Great. So, so, so I'll go ahead and tell you what I think it is, and oh. then Doug, you'll tell me if this is similar to the one that you're telling. A strawberry shortcake is when uh, you punch a girl in the nose and she starts bleeding, and then you nut on her face while close. she's bleeding. The fuck! Why am I stop hitting women? It's close. Oh my I'm god! Just <laughs> telling you what the thing is that Fred that's told not me to what tell. the Urban Dictionary says. The Urban Dictionary <laughs> was a lot nicer. What what was a uh, strawberry shortcake for the Urban Dictionary? That you or have sex with a girl Bismarck. on her period, and then you pull out and ejaculate on her. That's what I thought, but punch her in the oh, face. No. Yeah, I've always that's heard. You, you know, know I'm you know, like, it has to do something with her period, but. It would be really fun if we did the who wants to be a millionaire, and we'll do like Urban Dictionary slang like this, and see I who like gets the artist. Yeah. I like it. I like it. This is a good idea. How about for the, this? For... How about the Spider Man? Anyone know what the Spider Man is? I have is no idea. The one where you. No, that's a Spider Man. It's... When it's you upside what? down. Oh my yeah. God. No, the Spider Man you... is whenever you nut in your hand you... and you just you like fling it. Well, there's that. <laughs> well, it's actually oh, like man. like like you spider like... like a spider web like Spider Man. You know, he's like yeah, close to that. You nut on the face, then you slap him in the face, and then it like strings across. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting women! What? Stop it. Okay, okay. I want to go back to this jelly, <laughs> this marquee, or whatever it is. You were close, actually. It was just a matter of punching, then they bleed on your dick. Oh, <laughs> another punch okay. in the face for her to just what? the jelly, the jelly Bismarck one on Urban Dictionary. Yeah, what does that is say? Not the face it's punch her in the eye and then jizz in her eye so that it resembles a jelly donut well, that one is, that's way worse. and that's why i was like that's really mean can we can we not i don't uh, like any of this honestly all right. let's no more emotional no more damn it no more of these urban dictionaries we started off with ah. stories and and a couple of would you rathers uh i think we should save these urban dictionary Try to try to, you know. Let's make it into a show. I I'm yeah. down to making that an episode. I yeah. love how uncomfortable Joan is, and I think we should. I think we should do it next. Uh, hey next Frank, show. what's a Frank? What's a pink sock? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> I still don't know what it is, and I'm not looking it up. Don't look it up. 
Oh, oh Doug froze. froze. He froze happy. <laughs> look, at him. look how happy he is. <laughs> that's a thumbnail for this show right there, guys. Dude, yes, use that, please. 100% yeah. that's going to be the thumbnail. That's the happiest I've ever seen. Oh, that's uh. the happiest I've ever seen, Doug. Oh, uh, that is actually the happiest I think I've ever seen him, too. <laughs> If he's not, if he's not making he's racist so comments bad. or, I'm like yeah. a happy person. Shit, <laughs> why are you always <laughs> saying stuff about racism? It's actually the soundboard that's lagging me out, so I don't know what what's going on with this website. Right. Final thoughts. Well, we've hit the hour mark. I want Gina to give us her uh, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Yeah. What do you think about the show? This is your second show. I know. I, I... <laughs> you, you 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 made it back. We somehow escalated back. from last uh, oh, last show. Can I ask you a question, Gina? Before before you give us your opinion on the show, did you actually share the first show that you did with anyone? Did you? Did I you... did right away. I saw that we got a lot of we got extra views. Usually we get like two views. We got 30, 38 views for the last show. No, it's at like forty one right now because I'm oh, like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Look at that, yeah. Huh? yeah. All yeah, right. I shared it, and so, I mean, I would like to share it with more, but I'm like, right now, I just shared it That's with. It's raunchy. I don't think you want to share it with anyone. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm like, I have to be careful who I share it we, with. We do this show for us. We don't do this show for anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> There's <laughs> so a couple of guys that, that work. At least that we know out. of. <laughs> Yeah. We don't do it for anyone we know. <laughs> I'm hoping that like I'm on an FBI list somewhere and somewhere in a van there's two dudes that are like listening to the show to try to get evidence on us and they're like <laughs> this is what he's fucking talking about <laughs> Bismarck's and shit tonight. They gotta have the most fun job. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just I think it'd be awesome. That would be awesome, actually. I think it'd be awesome. Just those two dudes listening to the show. Listening to the show. Are they naked? I mean, they weren't when this show started, but hopefully by the end of the show, if we did a good enough job, they're going to try out some of these terms that we discussed. Uh, okay, Gina, give us your final thoughts without Frank interrupting you this time. I know. Frank, it's fucking Women's History Month. Relax. Jesus Christ, bro. At least give us the spunk. Jeez. Yeah. This show next show, bro. Just let them have it. Listen, you're <laughs> talking about slapping women around during sex and shit. I, never <laughs> you know, I didn't say them. I did it. I just asked you guys if you knew what it was. So, okay. So, final thoughts. Thanks for having me back. Uh, and yeah, I hope it just gets raunchier and raunchier, and we just yeah get to know more about me. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. I like it. Joan, final thoughts. Uh, once again, happy Women's History Month. Uh, I hope my contribution on the show will, you know. Go down the history books and make everyone proud. And also, please stop hitting women while having sex with them. I but what if they like appreciate it? That. I mean, that's yeah. different, but like... What if they ask for it and they like it and they give you consent and they say, I mean, hey, some guys, I mean, that's, please that's, punch me. That's it's fine then. Huh? I, mean, I don't there's like some it. guys that like getting their nuts stepped on with high heels. So, I mean, like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, some hey, guys like getting punched... Yeah, some guys like getting punched in their nut sack. No, I, me. I mean, I, I know it takes Maybe all kinds. Maybe tongue punched. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know it takes all kinds. Uh, yeah, no, it has to be consensually. Uh, calling things that, that resemble a jelly donut feels not good. So don't do hmm. that. <laughs> Have fun. Be safe, kids. <laughs> Frank, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Uh, I hate you all. Uh, Joan, feel free to leave this show at any time. I think your contract is you're a free agent, so you could just duck out at any time you want. Uh, once you've had enough, uh, Gina, same for you. Uh, the day that you have enough, I'll totally understand. Uh, but my final thought is this is a blast. I hope we never stop. I hope it does get raunch here. And if we ever do this in real life in person, I, I hope that we do a, a marathon show where it's just like Jerry Springer and we just end up coming to blows and just security has to separate everybody. <laughs> I hope that why somehow. Why does he want to just put his hands on us, Joan? Yeah, why do you want to fight? Why do you want to punch like, Let's turn this into Jerry. Yeah, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I would have at least tackled Lord Cronus and have come to fight. Bro, I'll, I'll let you touch my nipples. Ooh, promise. <laughs> Doug, final thoughts. Um, my final thoughts are, um, 
I I don't know about this whole contract shit, but I didn't get out. I got a phone call. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I it is Women History Month, and Frank, I think you should really pick up a book and. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, you fucker! <laughs> educate yourself. Yeah, I, you know, maybe you know, get educate yourself. yourself. He said, you know, like, or like reprogram yourself. You know, like they <laughs> just learn to appreciate women for who they are, Frank. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I mean, I feel like Mormonism is in your future. You know, it's a very male-dominated, <laughs> male-dominated mm-hmm. thing. So, yeah, we know you want to marry several women at once and just have them all take care of all your kids. But you know, you got to move to Utah for that. Yeah. And, My uh, final thoughts are, uh, guys, I really appreciate you guys being here and us still doing this. Um, <laughs> I know we talk about a lot of bullshit. Um, and that's kind of why we do it. Just come in here and just escape from the reality of uh, life and and talk shit to each other and and make Frank feel bad about his life choices. Um, Jeez. I'm you know we're we're a month and a half away from uh, Francis's uh, wedding. Maybe we'll have a podcast uh, after the wedding <laughs> while we're all drunk. Open bar, guys. In a bathroom. <laughs> oh, Frank will be in his Frank will be in his uh, tuxedo. All right. In his taco <laughs> underwear, maybe. I imagine. No, no oh nothing. This, White this, feeder. It's it's like watching a fire. Oh, this show. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. See All you right. uh, in two weeks. Have a good night, guys. See you guys Bye. later. Peace. Deuces. We are no longer live, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fire of a show. Because we're all fire.